Hey guys, it's Sunday. Welcome to my vlog. It is Sunday, May 27th. Oh, we didn't go away at all for the weekend. And, you know, we try, we're working on all these projects. I, I am sad to say we didn't accomplish much today. It was just kind of one of those things. Jay was gonna try to, to change a faucet. He, we had bought a faucet and he was gonna try to change it for me. And um, he got dizzy under the sink. So that was the best. He can't go upside down. He's just one of those guys. He just, you know, when he goes upside down, he kind of loses it. So, um, and so no day trip, but maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow might still work out for a little bit of a day trip. But anyways, I hope you guys all had a awesome Memorial Day weekend. And uh, join me on my vlog this week. I have no idea where it's gonna take me. So happy, what is it? I was gonna say Monday morning, but it's really Tuesday morning. It's the Tuesday after Labor Day, and I've had the last three days off, Sunday, Monday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and it was like, we, I wish we'd gone away, although Sunday was a total washout, but I wish we'd gone away for at least two of the days, because it was really nice, but I did get a lot accomplished. So last night, and the reason I'm, I have no lipstick on, I have no, I do have some foundation, and obviously curl is in my hair, but last night I uh, derma rolled. I had skipped two weeks, so this was like the third, the third week. So I did, I did derma roll, and I can't remember why I skipped them, but I did. I, I can't remember. But anyways, so I did my scalp last night. And I did my face last night, and oh my gosh, was I so red! I was red when I woke up. I'm red this morning still. Now we derma rolled early on Sunday, so that I would you know, not go to bed immediately afterwards. I like to drum roll and I like to, you know, do it a couple of hours, you know, three or four hours before bedtime. That seems to work out the best for me. So I ended up drum rolling and then I did all the serums, everything that I normally do. But I'll tell you, the first thing I put on after drum rolling was my niacinamide. And I just turned beet red, like right away. I didn't have any bleeding, but I did have pin pricks, especially on my forehead. I do use a numbing cream, so that makes it a little bit um, easier to tolerate. It's, um, it was not easy, and after I did my niacinamide, I still have some of my ordinary buffet, so I put that on, and, um, and then I let that sink in, and then I ended up doing my hyaluronic acid, and put that on. And then, after that um, sunk in, I put my carrot oil on, which is the first time I've used the carrot oil. I've got a little thingy hanging off my cat tail, dead cat or whatever you call it. Um, I put the, the um, carrot oil on. I tell you, the carrot oil is extremely rich, but, and it's slow in my skin to absorb. I didn't use my jade roller. I probably could have, but I didn't use my jade roller. My skin was sensitive, and I bet you the jade roller would have felt really good putting it on. I don't know why I didn't. I don't know why I didn't think of it the next time. But I put the carrot oil on. I let that sit in for a really a long time, and then right before bed, and I, on drum roll nights, I don't use my bee venom cream, but right before bed, I put on the It Cosmetics Secret Sauce Cream that I have, and I put that in my trouble areas. I did it around here, I did it around my eyes, et cetera, as an eye cream. I really, I really like that. It's really expensive. Um, am I noticing a huge difference with it? No but I like how it feels on my skin, you know? So I don't know that I'm gonna buy another bottle of it. We'll see when I run out, but I am enjoying my IT Cosmetics Secret Sauce Cream a lot. And the carrot oil, surprisingly. Yeah, the carrot oil was really good. So yeah, so we'll see. I hope my skin calms down. I've got to head to Londonderry to fix my hair, um, head out, head to Londonderry, and um, I had a full day. Tonight we have a wake. I'm going to meet my mom and my sister, my mom's friend, lifelong friend of my mom. And um, I grew up with this woman, so we know their whole family passed away. So we're going to go to the wake tonight. <sighs> Not looking forward to that, but the cycles of life. So maybe I'll turn this back on when I've got my hair done, just so you can see how it came out. Alrighty, I'm back. I'm pretty well as done as I'm going to be. 
I forgot to mention too that after the wake, I have a hairdresser's appointment tonight at seven o'clock. My roots are so bad. I have so much gray. It's unbelievable. She's probably not gonna cut it, just touch it up. So this is just kind of like loose, um, kind of free flowing or whatever. I debated putting it up today, but I think I'm gonna just wear it down. On my face, I have the It Cosmetic CC Cream. Because I derma rolled last night, or maybe in general, I don't know, I'm peeling really bad. Now usually when I derma roll, I peel like three days afterwards. So this is probably peeling from my Retin-A and the derma rolling in combination because my nose is peeling and my upper lip, because I've been focusing on my smoker's wrinkle and I've been really trying to work that area. So I've been peeling a lot on my upper lip and also on my nose. So I have that on, it has settled in. You could take, if you zoom in, which I'm not gonna do, you'll see that I've got like peeling and flaking and funky skin. Uh, on my eyes, I'm using the, um, the Afterglow cosmetics palette this was sent to me quite a while ago i've already done a review on it from the octoly network i really i really like this palette for me it, i can create a very easy sort of like low-key day look which is what i think i've tried to achieve and uh, i really like it i also have on my eyes and i don't know what the shade is but i got um a three pack of the urban decay that i bought I don't know, maybe two weeks ago, and I think I already talked about it. So this lighter one, I've been just dabbing on the inner corners of my eyes, and I really like how that's looking. So yeah, so um, kind of low-key. I have my It Cosmetics brow pencil on, and I have my brow gel. So I have the brow pencil, then I have the brow gel on, and I really, really am liking this combination of those two because my brows kind of stay in place. They don't sweat off. I know this sounds pretty gross. And then on my face, um, this was something that was sent to me from Becca Cosmetics uh, via the Octoly Network. I already talked about this, Maui Nights. This is a bronzer. I'm using it as a, a blush. I just put it on a little thing and I just kind of dabbed it on. I should always remember to say this on a quest to try to be the best possible me I can be. Um, I am not ready both financially and emotionally to do any kind of surgical intervention, and I'm 64. So if I can try different cosmetic things, and you know, if I want to experiment with my skin, with derma rolling and, and Retin-A, and you know, the Olay Pro Retinol treatment I've been doing around my eyes, I, I'm, I'm undertaking that based on my own skin and my own reactions, and all I can say is, there's pros and cons to everything. My eyelash serum, for example, I use, I've been using Blink, I love it. Uh, prior to that, I used CarePros. My sister can't use those products, so they don't work for everybody. And um, derma rolling isn't for everybody. Retin-A isn't for everybody. And the Olay Pro Retinol Eye, I mean, the jury's still out, but I will tell you, I am liking it so far, a lot. So I think you gotta do what you gotta do that makes you feel good for who you are in your life and do your own research on it. So that said, I think I kind of, not that anyone asks. Sometimes people do ask, oh, what are you wearing today? So yeah, so yeah, sorry about the shaky camera. I'm uh, on my selfie stick. Again, this is not like set up for, you know, all my lights, camera in action. Um, not set up for a sort of a talking head video, but um, gearing up, heading out to work, and then full day today because hairdressers is at seven. I probably won't get home till about 9.30. Uh, my stepson and um, his significant other are going to be arriving on Friday. Friday. I forgot to I forgot to show you my earrings. So these are my Swarovski's Bella. Um, these are like a really pretty. I don't know if you can. I'm looking in the viewfinder here. I don't know if you can really see them. They're real pretty, um, light blue. I really like them a lot. I really do. They're. Um, I ha I wear a lot of Bellas. I have them in the clear color. I have them in a darker color. I have them in a purple color. They're not cheap. Um, Swarovski's are expensive, but well. Relevant, relevantly speaking, I guess. Um, but I really like it. But I know a lot of people will say that round earrings are not good for fat faces because it just makes you look fatter in the face. And if you wear long dangling ones, they elongate your face. So um, 
I say tough caca. I wear these a lot. I do also wear a lot of long dangly ones and I have a fat face. I have fat cheeks, you know, I've got high forehead, I've got cowlicks all over the place, so tough caca. I'm wearing my round earrings. Man, traffic was crazy, but I made it down to my folks' house and my sister's already here. Now I'm gonna go in and grab my mother and we're gonna head off to a wake. For me to say hello. Say hello, yes. mother. Say hello, sister. Hello. <laughs> you're supposed to you're supposed to say something lovely to the camera. My shy mother. No, I'm shy. I have I don't know what to say. I say hello. She's never shy. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. <laughs> I'm just playing shy. And over there. On the steps is my dad. Wave, dad. That is the old guy. I left my house without any earrings. I am, I'm going to feel naked all day. I'm going to try to go for a pedicure, so I'm going to try to make an appointment. I actually haven't had a pedicure, I think, since... I think since March, when Jay and I went to Texas. I think I did it before that. I can't remember. I'm using my vlogging camera, my Canon with the mic. I love, I love how my Canon works with the mic. I love how the mic works. I like how the sound is so much better than the Sony. But this Sony that I'm using, I, that I call my vlogging camera, is just so portable. Port blah, blah, blah. Portable. I stick it in my pocketbook, and it, um, anyways, it's always there when I need it. Cause it's always in my pocketbook. Anyways, we're off to Boston. We're going to be picking up Justin and Tamara. And, Tamara. and um, Justin is Jay's son. He lives in Atlanta, as does his girlfriend. So, um, yeah, so they're coming out here. They're going to camp in our driveway for two days. Yeah, I think that'll be fun. And we'll have a good time, go up the coast. It's supposed to rain here and there, but... It's supposed to be a crappy weekend, yeah, actually. Yeah, it's been crappy for the last, I don't know how long. Yeah, it's supposed to be a crappy weekend, unfortunately. We'll, we'll make the best of it. So this is the uh, traffic trying to get out of Logan International Airport in Boston. There's Justin and Tamara hi. in the back seat saying hi to everyone. <laughs> they had a great flight from Atlanta. They brought the humidity we with did. them. Yes, we did. <laughs> so yeah, now we're um, we're heading north, and Mr. Grump sitting over there is containing himself, smiling nicely. <laughs> Sounds like something he's right? doing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea how long it's going to take us to get home. It is. I think once we you get beyond. Hungry? Oh, yeah. now he's hi Jay's hungry. <laughs> His stomach is growling. You guys hungry? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. I ate. I bought us some food. I you knew did? Uh, yes, I did. We had salad. And Chick-fil-A on the flight. Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Chick I brought a sandwich. Slow. Made him eat it. How? Then he passed out. Cool. <laughs> did he sleep all the way? No, not all the way. Um, part of it. Part of it. <laughs> <laughs> so they're good sports until they see them on my YouTube channel. When they see themselves on my YouTube channel, they might go, oh, oh she did that. <laughs> <laughs> but I yeah. I like your YouTube channel. I am doing it. This will be in my blog next week. Yeah, Whoops. I like it. We are off like another herd of turtles, right? Yeah. Where are we going this time? Head into Maine. Look at our company in the back seat, ignoring me. We're heading to Maine. We're going to, I think, oops, my bra strap. Um, I think we're going to uh, Nubba Light, Portland. I don't know if, are we going to L.L. Bean? I can't remember, but anyways, we're just gonna do the tour routine. This uh, last one was destroyed in the blizzard of seven years. So pretty. You know, it's really unusual to I think to see this be this calm. Oh, I got a little kiss in my <laughs> video. Did you see that, Mommy? It's really, really unusual because normally it's a lot more windy. The ocean is dramatic and rough. But it's just it's just like we're gonna do the ocean walk. We have two hours of free parking here, so 
We're gonna take advantage of it, right, Jay? There's JJ down there. Say hi, JJ. He's saying hi. So I love it because I found a bunch of people and you know took their picture and so then they took our picture and then I posted it to Instagram and when they did that Jay, Tamara, Justin all left left me behind but what a beautiful place to be left behind I think oh there he is I caught up to you I caught up to JJ so dueling vloggers Dueling vloggers. <laughs> so I caught up to him. Hi. Hi. Hello. <sighs> oh, look at all this. Saltwater taffy, vanilla. Maple. My favorite was always, always banana. It was always my favorite. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist fudge. I just knew you wouldn't be able to resist it. And what are you unable to resist? Um, the peanut butter cups. Ooh. is the lighthouse over there it's amazing after the lighthouse we drove to downtown old port and went to the thirsty pig where we met up with my niece and eventually her boyfriend after he finished golf and we just had a lovely relaxing afternoon hey guys happy monday today is june 4th and it was a rainy Monday. It's late in the day, I just got home. I wanted to kind of shoot this sort of like summary clip really quick for you guys because I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's, uh, it was a long week, but the rest of this week is just gonna be work, 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 nothing exciting. Maybe over the weekend we'll go camping, I don't know, and if that's the case, I'll you know obviously shoot a few clips on that. But I wanna end the vlog here before it goes and gets crazy long. I do wanna say that I am so happy that we got to spend this last weekend we did the way we did it with Justin, Jay's son Justin and his girlfriend Tamara. They flew out. As many of you know, we were preparing for the visit. We picked them up on Friday. All the clips have already been shown. And we just had a great time. We had a great visit. Sunday, we ended up going to Portsmouth. The weather was a little bit more chillier. It was nice for us, but it was on the chilly side for Justin and Tamara. They're used to Atlanta. And I think in Atlanta, it's a little bit hot and humid. A lot hot and humid, probably. Anyways, so we did Portsmouth. We walked around. I'm going to uh, insert a couple of clips here. We went into one of the deck restaurants, Martingale Loft, sat by the water, we just overlooked the harbor. It was really pretty. Had, had some appetizers. And then we worked our way down the coast and we went all the way down to Hampton Beach. And it was really cold at the beach. And even though the weathermen said it was going to be chilly, we were going to have ocean breezes, which always means cold. It was colder, I think, than Justin expected, and probably he wasn't prepared for it. So we kind of found our way to a bar. I think we went to the Sea Catch, and we went up on the third deck, and it was enclosed, and we just sat there and had a couple of drinks, did some chitty chatting, and then we went out to dinner. So Sunday, while colder, was nice. Today, Monday, 
Jay brought uh, both of them down to Winthrop, Massachusetts, which is very close to, to Boston, where they're gonna spend the next two days. They're gonna beat around Boston, explore that whole area. Tomorrow night, Jay's gonna go down there. They're gonna catch a Red Sox game together. I'm not going, I'm gonna actually cover it for Jay. While he has a class Tuesday night, so I'm gonna take his class so he can go. And yeah, it was just a, it was, it was just a wonderful weekend. Jay's birthday was Sundays. Justin was last week, so it was sort of their birthday celebration. And it was really nice that he was able to come to New Hampshire and we just had a great little weekend with, you know, together. So I think that's about it. I don't really have anything much exciting to say beyond that. So I just, um, yeah, I'm just gonna wrap it up and say thank you all so very much for all your support and thank you for watching the vlog. I know they tend to be long and probably boring to some of you, but I hope you did enjoy what you did watch if you watched it. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> but thank you guys, see you later. Bye-bye.